there is this great storytelling element that makes it feel like you're not just reading a spiritual book but also a work of fiction or a storybook as well. Everybody. welcome to a new video new vibes on my channel you're always welcome to my channel my name is Kiana for those of you who don't know and as always please make sure you guys are signed into YouTube to subscribe to my channel click the notification bell to join the notification group and sprinkle some love on that like button to better help this channel grow if you like this video we read a classic self-help book women who run with the wolves by clarissa pinkola estes phd if you have read this book i would love for you to watch this video hear what i have to say about this book and then comment what your thoughts are about this book down below i'm sure without actually reading the book you can tell that it's empowering because of the correlation in the title between women and wolves which simply gives meaning to the notion that women are wolves by instinct the word wild is portrayed as a good thing and it is the thing which an individual who is reading this book is seeking to find within. I like how she uses the wolf as the spirit animal because usually canines are associated with men and felines are associated with women. This is the first self-help or spiritual book that we read together collectively for reading out that book club so let me know if you guys would like to read more self-help books or spiritual books for our book club this book looks intimidating because it almost resembles an educational text there are a lot of big sat words within this book and it's about 500 pages long i read this book with an audiobook to help me read it at a good pace if you're interested in the audio i'll link the one i used from ali berry on youtube in the description bar down below it's not the most clean cut version but i think it's a good one she takes a lot of pauses in between the audiobook so i think that it's really good to take advantage of for note taking this is the most common edition of this book that i've seen there is a very gorgeous collectible edition that i would love to have because this book is super captivating and a good contribution to the psychology of women i think that this is a great book for women in creative fields men and women alike can read this book but definitely women it's truly a brilliant book this book is for any woman who wants to get to know herself better it's a book about sisterhood motherhood from childhood to womanhood structures and dynamics within familial relationships romantic relationships parental relationships and the relationship with self and soul it talks a lot about finding your tribe or your pack in wolfy terms and there is a lot of matriculation through these phases called initiations and also there is this matriarchal system generational wealth passed down from grandmother to mother to daughter. I don't know who watched my video on Colleen Hoover's books but in that video I talked about how I wanted to read better books on motherhood and this one it just so happened to be up on my TBR. So you see how the universe works in our favor. As we journey through this book we see it's focused on centering the instinctual nature of females as the wild woman. It creates this sense of connectivity with other women in nature and I love how the wild woman is classified as an archetype so as to make it more real and relatable as possible. This book lacks superficiality and is very inclusive of all women that we have this specific type of soul that this book awakens the force within us. It's quite riveting and such a great help because it really puts into words the experiences of the wild woman and I feel like that is not an easy thing to articulate. This is a collection of old fables, ancient folklore, and fairy tales from all around the world intricately laced together. This is a special book because while it is self-help and mostly spiritual there is this 
great storytelling element that makes it feel like you're not just reading a spiritual book but also a work of fiction or a storybook as well. I really love this book and I would also like to reread it because of the whole fairy tale aspect. Each story is divided into a different chapter from different women who are teachers, artists, scientists, writers, and so on and so forth. In each chapter or story, the author helps us interpret all of the symbolic meanings behind these stories so that the reader is not left to fend for the answers themselves. I feel like each of these stories, all women can relate, and I wanted to delve deeper into each of these stories as I read more and I felt more connected to each of these stories. Psychoanalyst Carl Jung and the author's own cultural background inspire her interpretations of each story. So it's told from the Jungian perspective and symbology about archetypes. Carl Jung believed that there are archetypes that we as humans are all born with innately and they sort of make up parts of our psyche. This particular archetype is the wild woman. There are other archetypes out there but it's just this archetype that the author specifically uncovers in this book. In several instances throughout the book we hear about this female soul and how it is innately wild opposite of tame. The female soul is vocal, rebellious, fearless, powerful, strong, inventive, self-aware, and sure of herself. For those of you who are learning more about the soul self and the ego self, this is a really great book for that. This is a really insightful read. It prompts the readers to return home to the soul self through solitude and to stop setting yourselves on fire to keep others around you warm. Understanding that only when the soul is ready, the teachers will appear and that only the soul knows what is good for the soul and whatever is good for the soul will always outweigh what is good for the ego. It also talks about the relationships between the soul and the body and how these two communicate with each other and send feedback to one another. It gives mother nature a new meaning and fresh perspective and it brings a lot of clarity. I feel like this book helped me sharpen my intuitive skills. It talks about the anatomy of women and people in general and how our bodies are all different and unique from each other and how also our body types reflect the affiliations or associations that we have with our ancestral lineages. It talks about the illusions and self-destruction to the body and how it robs women of their confidence and their happiness because those types of illusions only promote women with these types of bodies like it only promotes their happiness and their confidence. Essentially we're talking about beauty standards here and I for one think that this one particular chapter that speaks on this aged very well. It's chapter 7 for reference if you want to look it up. Author encourages us to embrace our natural bodies for within them lie extraordinary power. Embrace the wild in order to live a life worth living you have to go out into the natural world and experience life for yourself this next part i find interesting is that a woman has a new initiation every seven years of her life the number seven is very significant in this book initiations are like different awakenings of the wild woman and it's like a different phase of a woman's life as she ages and goes through life and gains more experiences and more wisdom. She has what is called initiations as she's getting closer and closer to reaching her full potential and her higher self. It's like a video game, like how you unlock new levels. It's like unlocking new initiations or spiritual awakenings of the wild woman. Definitely want to reread this book and annotating is a must. This book introduced me to parts about myself that I've always known. It simply just articulates it better and I really enjoyed reading that from another like uh, reading it and observing it uh, like reading it and observing it from another point of view. We need books like these that keep us so sharp and in subtle ways you'll remember the teachings from a different self-help book. It's just that that wisdom at its core that 
is so necessary and is so useful. These are the lessons that you want to take with you forever, not just for a moment. They're really good for your soul. I went through various feelings throughout reading this story and I feel like if you're able to understand the teachings of this book and really apply them to your life and understand yourself better. I feel like there'll be a lot less suffering in many communities and generations of women. That is all for our book club pick for January, Women Who Run With The Wolves by Clarissa Pinkola as says PhD. If you watch this video to the very end, you're a real one. Leave me a white heart emoji in the comment section down below to let me know that you guys are here. And if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up also remember to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my other social medias instagram twitter with love kiana i'm on there and i'll see you guys in our next book club video right here until next time bye